The cone is very simple, especially when you're given a first term out together. What you do here is that if you are given something like this, the first step is you need to draw ama lines. Draw to my lines to enter kumamba like that. Making a complete cone out together, right? So, same thing also the, the height, extend it. Because you don't know that height, call it x. This height is 24. The radius is 12 for the base and the radius for the top part is 4 centimeters. Now remember that from here we are getting two cones. And let me show you what cones we are getting. I have you seen this cacon here? There's a cacon which is being given by this. Where from there to there is 4 centimeters and whose height is x. There's also another bigger cone whose base is 12 centimeters. Now you on say cone from the top to the bottom. All right, whose height is 24 plus x. So the height is 24 plus x. Now, how can I find the volume of the fluster? Look. I remove the top part. Okay? How can I know the length? So you can only know that if let's say the length of the original was 15 centimeters, right? Then kamina chosa kocha kapa muamba kacha na kariche let's say 5 centimeters. Chamina sala na acho ichi. Zankara zingati. India issue ya fraster. So zankara che 15 minus 5 which is 10. So even here in terms of volume. Kuli volume much kuru. Then na volume ya kaja kamina mwacho sa pampa muamba. When you subtract them. Isa kupasa volume ya mene ya sala. Ija volume ya sala. Ndiye chi fraster mka icha sala ichi. When you cut the top part of the cone. You get the concept. You, 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 you now get where the cone is coming from. The fraster is coming from. Tell so to find x, you need that x to know to, to be known because if you have a volume, volume yapa kangono, na volume yapa chikuru. The formula is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Same thing here, it's 1 over 3 pi, let's use capital letter r squared and capital letter h. Once you find a volume, you need to But remember that the height yaka and yaka x. So it's a mass that you find the x. And remember that height yaka chikuru yapa. 24 plus x so it's a mandate that you find the x how can you find the x we use ratio and the proportion ratio and the proportion or similarity these two are not the same but they are similar how are they similar you you you, you say this get their heights express them as a ratio so get the height of the bigger one which is 24 plus x express as a ratio of the other one good the the ratio is the same even if you get the armor radius so also get the radius the same way you start with the bigger one, also start with the bigger one, over 4. Now, I know that 4 can go into 12, so I'm, I'm going to keep my 24 plus x here over x is equal to 3. Now, multiply here, you get 24 plus x is equal to 3x. So, you get 24 is equal to 3x minus x. And you get 24 is equal to, to x. Over 2, over 2. And you get a, your x is equal to 12 centimeters. So my cas the small height here is 12 centimeters. If this is 12, this becomes what? 36 centimeters. Then you proceed. Volume number 1. V is equal to 1 over 3. Pi, we use 3.142. Pi, we use 1.32 uh, 1 by the way. So let's give a 9. The radius is 4. Radius will always half. If it's not, if it will it pass, divide by 2. So in our case, in the 4 squared, the height is 12. The height can in the x, in the h can Let's punch everything on the calculator. 4 squared in 16, 16 times 12, then 16 times 3.142, then divide by 3. We in volume 1, I'm getting 20, sorry, 201. I'll leave this one to one decimal place, 0.1 cubic centimeters. Let's find volume number two. 
volume number two is also equal to one over three. The pi will still remain the same. The radius now is not four, it's 12 instead. You square it. The height is 36. The height has become 36. Let's part of the everything we've located. 12 squared in 144. 144 times 36. 130, uh, that number that we get multiplied by 3.14. Divide by 3. So you get 5,429. I also leave this one to one decimal place. Then volume of the flask term is equal to V2 minus V1. So 5429.4 minus 201.1. So 5429.4 minus 201.1. So the volume of the flask term is 5228.3 cubic centimeters. Don't forget I'm a unit in upper part. Now, some of you might wonder, why is this stage important? Why are these op steps important? Look at the marks, six marks. All these stages, they accumulate a number of marks. And moreover, sometimes they don't ask you directly to find the volume. They are, some, sometimes they are going to ask you, for example, to say, they can say, find the height of a smaller cone. How can you go about it? Or, you, or they can say, find the height of a cone that was cut off. You first have to branch them this so that you know how it was cut off. Then you use this ratio here to find the height that was cut off. You what you do? You use ratio. If you start nayachikuru, nayakangono pansi, also do the same nayachikuru, nayakangono pansi. You can also flip them up and down. It's, it's nothing as long as you maintain the order in which you are getting them. Are we together?